Whether they're lining the rocks, walking the beaches, or hiding in the marsh, brown pelicans, they're hard to miss, even though researchers are seeing fewer of them. When Dal and I first got married, we, there was more land in the back of our house. Teresa Dardar has a front row seat to the problems the brown pelican population is facing, and scientists say that problem is climate change. We are ground zero for uh, looking at the effects of sea level rise because the coast is sinking at the same time sea levels are going up. I believe that around 2000 and uh, 10, there were 15 islands that were used by pelicans, and now we're down to about six. You see, until recently, the brown pelican had been on the rebound. After the U.S. banned DDT back in 1972, biologists released more than 1,200 brown pelicans in Louisiana over 13 years. But now the birds are having a hard time keeping up with the changing world around them. The rate of change that's happening right now in these, is faster than anything these birds have ever experienced throughout their evolutionary histories. The rate of change that's happening in our coastal zones now is, is something that is unprecedented throughout the last six million years. Scientists estimate Louisiana is losing a football field worth of ground every 60 to 90 minutes. Every few years, government agencies work to restore the barrier islands with most of the money coming from the 2010 Deepwater Horizon spill. But that money won't last forever, forcing out both people and pelicans. They don't have a place to lay, but then what's gonna happen? 